the 1978 Honda XL250, the motorcycle that shocked the biking world and changed the motorcycle world forever. One bike of the year when it came out in 78. It's the most advanced motorcycle ever made. Let me explain. Well, I bought this one 40 years ago. It was in certified condition and only 8,000 kilometers. Now it's got 83,000 kilometers as of when the speedometer cable broke. Always starts in one kick. The only maintenance I've done on the engine in all those years was a video I showed you guys 10 years ago of changing the cam chain. I've also done the valve seals and piston rings and put on a Honda ATV 300EX exhaust system. I love these bikes so much I'll never drive anything but. But I got another one. This one is also a 1978 and it had 5,500 kilometers on it when I bought it off an old farmer with a 100 acre farm and he only used it on the farm. He's never driven it on the street and I've never driven it on the street. He used it for checking fences and chasing his cattle down. I'm kind of like an old farmer because I farm catnip. So it went from one old farmer to another old farmer. Now let me tell you why these bikes are special. They were the first motorcycle in the world that was production to have a four valves per cylinder. First bike to have two exhaust uh, pipes for a one cylinder engine. It has the world's, to, the, to this day, the world's biggest front rim on a production motorcycle, which is 23 inches. Does that ever handle well? It just so stable, goes over the bumps so much better than a 21 inch or some other size. They were the lightest bike in its class and the most power in its class, 20.5 horsepower. Their top speed is close to about 85 miles per hour. They always start in one kick and their only design flaw on them is these two little nuts that you have to loosen to adjust the cam chain about once every year or two. People didn't do that and the cam chain would get so loose that they would flip and jump a few teeth and not start or bend the valves and then people would just put the bikes away or get rid of them and not know and think the motor was screwed. This bike is so original that the only thing that's not original is the rear tire I put on. I have the original rear tire and it's almost like new condition. It has an aftermarket exhaust pipe and the spark plug has been changed. That's it. It wouldn't matter to me how much money I had or if I won the lottery. I would never buy anything else but one of these bikes. Let me start it for you. Oh, another advanced thing it has an accelerator pump in the carburetor. So when you do this, it actually squirts a bit of gas in, so it makes it start up much easier. Awesome sound. Runs like a new bike and drives like a new bike. If you've got anybody watching this video ever gets a chance to, to drive one of these, you're going to want to drive one of these. I, I would never change from having one of these bikes the rest of my life. Enjoy.